Hi, in this session we will review about how to define the bomb scrap in Microsoft Dynamics X2012. In addition, we will also review how bomb scrap is being considered by the system during the bomb calculation functionality. First of all, let us understand what is bomb scrap. During production, there will be always some losses due to various reasons and due to this we will get less output than the plan one. For example, if we plan to produce the 5 pieces of bicycle, we may get around 4 pieces as the final output as one piece of bicycle always gets scrap during the quality testing. Now to get the actual output as the plan one, we need to increase the plan quantity by some percentage so that we will get the output as per expectation. In this case, if we plan to produce 5 pieces, we may need to start production for 6 pieces to get the final output of 5 pieces. For this, we use bomb scrap. Manufacturing processes typically aims to produce the desired quantity of products with minimal scrap and overhead. Extra scrap and other overhead cost can occur if for example, wrong machine types or sizes are used, processes are not controlled correctly, or wrong kinds of materials are used. In Microsoft Dynamics X2012, there are two types of bomb scripts available, constant scrap and variable scrap. Constant scrap is calculated only once independent of how many items are produced. It is expressed in the fixed quantity. For example, irrespective of how many pieces of bicycle are produced, first piece of bicycle is always produced as a sample piece for quality testing purpose and will be scrap. And second is the variable scrap. Variable scrap is dependent on quantity of items being produced and it is expressed in the percentage of the quantity. For example, if 10% is specified as variable scrap, then if 100 pieces of bicycles are produced, then 10 pieces will be estimated as scrap and if 1000 pieces of bicycles are produced, 100 pieces will be estimated as scrap quantity. Known or expected scrap can be specified in the scrap fields and then attached to the each bomb line. Scrap value is used to calculate correct raw material consumption on bomb lines. Let us review the product demonstration about how to specify the bomb scrap on bomb line. We are on the release product list page and we have already filtered the bicycle product. In order to specify the scrap for the bomb components for the bicycle, we need to go to the bomb line form that is click on engineer action menu and from the bomb group click on lines button. This will open up the bomb line form. Here we can see all the bomb components being used to assemble the bicycle and let us say that this is the bomb of bicycle and let us say that whenever we assemble the bicycle one piece of frame always gets scrap during the quality testing and that is independent of how many pieces of bicycles are being assembled so we need to define the one piece as a constant scrap for the frame bomb line in order to specify the scrap first of all locate the bomb line and then click on the setup tab under the setup tab we have two fields one is the constant scrap and one is the variable scrap for frame one piece of frame will always get scrap independent of bicycle quantity and hence it is considered as a constant scrap and we need to specify the value here under constant scrap so we specify one piece of frame as a constant scrap coming back to our overview tab whenever we assemble the bicycle one percent of chain assembly always gets scrap that means if we plan to produce 100 pieces of bicycle one piece of chain assembly will be scrap and if we plan to produce 1000 pieces of bicycle 10 pieces of chain assemblies will be scrap since scrap for the chain assembly varies on the how many pieces of bicycles are being produced it is being considered as a variable scrap and variable scrap can be defined under the setup tab and in the variable scrap field so here specify the 1% of variable scrap notice that constant scrap is expressed in the fixed quantity while variable scrap is expressed in the percentage. This is the percentage of how many quantities are being produced. So this is how we can specify the constant and variable scrap for each bomb line. If bomb scrap either constant or variable is specified on the bomb line then it will have an impact on cost price calculated using the bomb calculation functionality. Microsoft Dynamics X2012 automatically takes the cost of any scrap into account when bomb calculations are made. 
Scrap can also be defined on the operations of the route of the product. According to the percentage of scrap of the operations, the scrap is calculated throughout the route and it will also affect the cost of the bomb. For more information about calculation of scrap in routes, refer to Microsoft Dynamics X2012 Discrete Manufacturing Basics Manuals. Let us review the product demonstration about how bomb scrap is considered by the bomb calculation functionality. So for the bicycle, we have specified one piece as a constant scrap for the frame and one percentage of variable scrap for the chain assembly. We can also specify the route scrap and in order to specify the route scrap click on route. Click on the setup tab and under the setup tab here we have a scrap percentage. Here we can specify the scrap for each routing operation. However we are not going to cover details here in this tutorial. Now we have specified the correct scraps on the bomb. So as a next step we can uh, review the bomb calculation functionality. In order to understand how scrap can impact the bomb calculation, first we will remove the scrap and we run the bomb calculation and notice the cost price. So I am removing the 1% of variable scrap for the chain assembly and one piece of constant scrap for the frame. And now I am running the bomb calculations for the bicycle. In order to run the bomb calculation, click on manage cost, click on item price. This will open up the item price form. On this form, click on calculation button. Select the costing version of the choice. We select the ROM as the site. Insert the color. We are running the calculation for the one piece of bicycle. Since there is no scrap, whether we run the calculation for one piece of bicycle or ten piece of bicycle, the cost price will be same. Notice the cost price is 44.30 euro. Now again we come back to the bomb line form and we specify the one piece of uh, fixed scrap for the frame and for chain assembly we specify the 1% of variable scrap and then we run the bomb calculation again. Now we will run the bomb calculations for different quantities. First we will run for the 10 pieces and then we will run for the 100 pieces and we will notice the difference in the cost price being calculated. So we go to the calculations and we run the here enter the quantity as 10 and we will run the calculation for this. Notice that the cost price have been increased slightly and now it is 44.41. If you go to the complete function we can also review the consumption for uh, so for frame as you can see that consumption for load size is 11 and that is because one piece of constant scrap being used so in order to produce 10 pieces of bicycle we need 11 pieces of frame and for the chain assembly total consumption is 10.10 .10, uh, because it's a variable consumption and that is dependent on quantity so 1% of 10 is 0.10 so total consumption is 10.10 .10. and considering this consumption total cost per unit is coming to us 44.41 because here there is a slight increase in the price of chain assembly that is 1.01 .01. and here because of the constant scrap the cost price have been increased for the frame to 1.10 now let us run the bomb calculations uh, for 100 pieces of bicycle before that just notice that with 10 pieces it's coming as a 44.41 when we run for the 100 pieces the cost price will be slightly lower than this the reason is that cost price for the constant scrap will be distributed among the 100 pieces whereas now it is distributed among the 10 pieces so as we increase the number of quantities the cost price per piece will be reduced because the constant scrap will be distributed among more quantities so we run the calculation for 100 pieces now notice that the price is a 44.41 and that will be reduced slightly so we run for the 100 pieces and as you can see now the cost price is calculated as 44.32 let us review the complete function to analyze the consumption so for the frame to produce 100 pieces we need a 101 pieces and for it the 1.01 .01 is the now cost per unit earlier it was 1.10 because uh, earlier constant price was distributed among the 10 pieces now it is distributed among the 100 pieces 
and for the chain assembly it is the variable scrap so again for chain assembly one percentage of 100 pieces that is 101 we need a one extra piece and that's why that's the reason the cost for the chain assembly also gets the same here we have noticed that so for the frame cost of the one extra piece is distributed among the 100 pieces of bicycle and that will ultimately bring down the cost per unit so we can run the bomb calculations for the different quantities and analyze the impact of uh, bomb scrap on it and we can derive the economical order quantity from this calculation thank you thank you for watching this video